there are times, I'm sure some of you have experienced them, when you hear a song and it's like, oh, that song just grabbed me. A song that once you hear it, you say, oh, yes, I have to have that song. So this song, I had that experience with back, at, I think it was 1983, upstairs in Slattery's in Dublin. And um, I heard this song and I went up to the singer during the interval and asked about it. You know, how, how could I get this song? I really wanted this song. And he said, well, it's obviously too long to give it to you right now, but it's on one of these early uh, Boys of the Lock records. I don't remember the name of it. And it's also in Robin Morton's folk song sung in Ulster. So, I was on a quest next day, Saturday morning. I hit the bookstores and the music stores, find out right away that the book has been out of print for eight years, the record has been out of print for 10 years. <clears throat> so, used bookstores, used music stores, of which there were a fair few, um, nowhere, couldn't find any of them. I spent most of the day in this quest until someone suggested to me, why don't you go to the library? Doi! <laughs> <laughs> so I just had enough time to get to the library, get the book uh, out of the stacks and copy the words down, but I still didn't have the tune to it. So I went to my friend Jerry Riley's place for dinner and, and for the night that night. He was gracious host, and I told him what I'd been doing all day. And he says, oh, I have that record. <laughs> so I was meant to get this song, and now you are meant to hear it. <clears throat> we know where to get it. Right. A short time ago, boys, an Irishman named Doherty was elected to Senate by a very large majority. Sure, he felt so elected that he sent for Dennis Cassidy, who owns a bar room of a very large capacity. A Rossus Doherty, go over to the brewer and order a hundred kegs of lager beer, and give it to the poor. Then go over to the butcher shop and order up a ton of meat. Be sure the boys and girls have got all they want to drink and eat. They made me the senator to show them me gratitude. They'll have the finest supper ever given in this latitude. Tell them that the music will be furnished by O'Rafferty, assisted on the bagpipes by Felix McCafferty. Sure, whatever the expenses are, remember, I'll put up the tin. And anyone who doesn't come, be sure and do not let them in. <laughs> then Cassidy at once sent out the invitations, and everyone who came was a credit to the nation. Some came by bicycle because they had no fares to pay, and all those who didn't come made up their minds to stay away. Two by three, they all rushed in the dining hall, old men and young men and girls that were not men at all. <laughs> Deaf men and blind men, men who had the chicken pox, single men and double men, men who had their glasses on. Well, in a few minutes, nearly every seat was taken till the tap rooms and mushrooms were packed to suffocation. When everyone was seated and we started to lay out the feast, Cassidy says, rise up and give us each a cake of yeast. He then said as manager, he would try to fill the chair. We then sat down and all looked over the bill of fare. Well, <clears throat> there was pigs, heads, goldfish, mockingbirds and ostriches, ice cream, cold cream, Vaseline and sandwiches, blue fish, green fish, fish hooks and partridges, fish balls, snowballs, cannonballs and cartridges. We ate oatmeal till we couldn't hardly stir about. Ketchup 
catch up and hurry up. Sweet trout and sauerkraut, dressed beef and naked beef and beef with all those trousers on. Soda crackers, firecrackers, Cheshire cheese with britches on. Beef steaks and mistakes were down upon a bill of fare. Roast ribs and spare ribs and ribs that we couldn't spare. Well, there was rain deer and snow deer and deer me and antelope and the women ate so much melon the men said the cantaloupe red parents smoked parents herons crumbled air and style banger loaf fruit cake sausages a half a mile hot corn cold corn corn cooks and honeycomb red birds red books sea bass and sea from fried liver baked liver cottage with liver pills and everyone was wondering who was going to pay the bill well we ate everything that was down upon the bill of fare and we looked on the back just to see if any more was there. Now for dessert, we had ice picks, toothpicks, and a piece of skip and rope. We washed it all down with a big piece of shaven soap. Oh. The band played horn pipes, gas pipes, and Irish reels. <laughs> till we danced to the music of the wine that shakes the barley field. Then the piper played all tunes and spittoons so very fine. <laughs> then in came the fiddler Pat and gave to him a glass of wine. Hurrah, a finer set of dancers you never set your eyes upon. And anyone who couldn't dance was dancing with the slippers on. Some dance jig steps, door steps, and highland flings, till Murphy took his knife out and tried to cut the pigeon's wing. When the dance was over, Cassidy told us to all join hands and sing this good old chorus. Should old acquaintance be forgot, whoever yes might be, but think of the good old times we had at the Irish Jubilee.